I'm Kat, and in this tutorial I'll show you how to make these gold dipped crystal pendants using a few very easy to find supplies. These are actually so easy to make and very simple and I love how they turned out. At the end of this video I'll be doing a giveaway of some of these pendants that I made, so stay tuned through the end to see how to enter. For this project you'll need a paper towel, two cups of hot water, half a cup of borax, you can find this with the laundry detergent in your store, pipe cleaners, an old paintbrush, chopsticks, a spoon, liquid gold leaf, you can find this at any craft supply store, eye pins, twist ties, and any type of food coloring you prefer. Start by twisting your pipe cleaner into a little spiral and slowly build it up into a bit of a bowl shape. Once you've done a few twists all the way around, you're going to want to take the end of the pipe cleaner and sort of weave it back into itself. This is going to give it a nice foundation, otherwise it's just going to spring apart and be a little bit floppy. So twisting it back into itself and weaving it through is going to give it a nice solid foundation for your crystals to form. And the pipe cleaner is nice and fluffy, so that is how the crystals are going to accumulate on this wire. If you have something smooth, they won't form. And this is going to form the foundation of your geode type crystal pendant. Next, take your eye pin and bend it slightly to mimic the curve on the inside of your little basket that you just made. Then stick it through the center of it and then grab the end of the eye pin and bend it back up and over the back and make sure the end of it is tucked back in so it's not going to stick out of the crystal. For the other style of pendant, take an eye pin and bend the bottom half of it up onto itself so that you have a little loop and then take your pipe cleaner and begin twisting from the top, building it up to a larger thickness around the middle of the pendant. Just keep coiling it around over itself to build up the thickness in the middle and then taper it off towards the bottom and form a loop at the very bottom to make a point. This is going to give it that nice tapered shape. Then take your hot water and add your borax to it. You might not need the full half of a cup, but just begin pouring it in and try and stir it as much as possible so that it will fully dissolve. And you may notice it will start to collect on the bottom of the container. Just make sure you crush up any little chunks in the bottom and dissolve it as much as possible. Then you can add any type of food coloring you prefer and make sure that it's mixed in really well. Next, take your twist tie and put it through the loop in the top of your pendant. Then attach the other end of the twist tie onto one of your chopsticks. You're going to want to suspend it into the liquid so that the loop is just barely out of the liquid but all of the pipe cleaner is fully submerged. And you'll just do the same thing with both types of pendants and leave them to sit in an area where they won't be disturbed for several hours. You'll start to notice after a couple of hours the crystals are beginning to form. Then after 8 hours you should have something like this. Here are some purple ones that I also made and I love this project because you can make them in any color that you can find the food coloring in. Take them out and let them dry for a while and when they're completely dry you're ready to start with your gold leaf. I used liquid leafing because it's going to get into all the little nooks and crannies on the back of this one and just jab at it with your paintbrush, which is why you're going to be using an older paintbrush that you're not concerned about ruining. I picked one that had really firm bristles so that I could really get into all of those little crevices and not have any spots that were left bare. You'll want to get it a little bit up and over the edge on this type of pendant, and then on the other pendant, just focus on the area right around the eye pin so it looks like it was dipped in. You don't want to put it on too thick because it will be a little bit runny, and then once you're done, let it sit for a couple of hours, and when it's completely dry, you're ready to add it onto your chain. And that is your finished project. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you'd like to enter the giveaway for these pendants, head on over to my Instagram at Katrina Ossity.